out at the hashtag CBS Mom. We, the three of us, are the judging committee, and we are going to be selecting the most creative or the most edgy tweet, and that person is going to win the ultimate CBS experience. And what that means is you and a guest are going to be flown to Los Angeles, and you are going to get to attend a taping of Mom. Oh, I'm not having sex. Don't lie to the woman who washes your sheets. Hi, I'm Stacy from EvolvingStacy.com and the Inspiring Moms Network. And I have a mom confession. When my son was three years old and he wouldn't listen to me, the only way I could get him to listen to me is if I took his Elmo and did one of two things. I would either hang it over the trash and tell him I was gonna throw out Elmo, or I would open the door and throw him outside and slam the door and say that Elmo is no more. And that always worked and unfortunately I used it as a crutch and to this day he still remembers when I would threaten to kill his Elmo. Hi, I'm Rachel Canis, and I'm going to hell because I used to tell my daughter that the police would come around and check bedtimes. Hi, I'm Stacy DeBra from Mom Central, and I do have a confession. This year, I became an empty nester, and I love my two kids. But I am so happy having them out of the house. Hello, my name is Andia May, and I was asked to give a mom confessional, which is kind of funny because I don't know how much time we have, but I have five children, so I have a lot of confessionals. <laughs> One of which was from today, that in order for me to actually get to this event, I had to stick my kids in the car with a movie and some snacks with my 11-year-old, I might add, so there was an older child in the vehicle, uh, in order for me to just get ready today. So. I'm Joey Fortman from realmommedia.com and I have a serious mom confessional. So on the way here today on the airplane, <clears throat> my five-year-old had to take a poo. And as I'm wiping him, I give my baby to the flight attendant who then proceeded to throw up on the flight attendant. And then to top it all off as I'm holding them, because of course my husband can't travel with me at the same time, he's got to come in supper time so that he can sit there and enjoy it. As I'm holding the baby, trying to change him, then my five-year-old got sick. But we look good today, don't we? Hey, it's Sammy Cohn from SammyCohn.com and I have a mom confession to make. I may or may not have asked my kids to play hide and seek when I was really tired and then just gone and hid in a place in the closet, maybe in a corner, and just taken a little nap. They don't know, they think they're playing, and I get a little shut-eye, so it works out well for all of us. 